and we're back with more Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. It feels weird having to do this and not having to worry about uh, Final Fantasy VIII for a while. Um, so, forewarn, I do Phoenix Wright stuff on Tuesdays and Thursday mornings. I try to record, you know, blocks. And then on the weekends, I've been adding in recordings of uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, Lee and I did, like, four or five sessions over two weeks or something, you know, maybe even five, which is blowing through like seven episodes at a time, which is more than I'm usually doing. Um, I'm usually at like three or four. And we just beat the shit out of that game. So it doesn't mean that I'm going to speed through Ace Attorney, but it gives me the ability to do so if I choose. But hey, what it also means is I can't have more time to do whatever if need to be. Uh, like we saw the time before where I missed an episode by mistake and shit happened. If I get to a serious case and miss an episode, that's gonna suck. So I don't want that to happen. Other than that, technology should be fine, we should be going good, and let's move on to case 3-3. This one, much like case 3-2, is a little more kind of there, you know, because there's always gotta be like one or two filler episodes. It's still not bad. Um, but it's got stupid things. But it's got a returning character in it, so there's always a good thing about that. Yeah. So, for all my issues with it, it's still got some good spots. But once we get through 3-3, three, three, things will start to pick up. That's enough! This court sees no reason to further prolong this trial. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts! It was me! I swear it wasn't me! The evidence and testimony we've seen and heard is conclusive. The victim was alone on the table and drank the poison cup. You're wrong! I know what I saw! I saw... I saw someone there. Man, he's the real killer! This court finds the defendant guilty. This court is adjourned. Hmm. Ha! Start of a new year. It always makes me feel like I could take on the world. That it does. So I've decided that our new resolution should be Zvari, take on the world. What do you think? Sure. I think we've had a bit more than enough mistletoe. Mistletoe cake? Remember, you gotta eat a lot of cake during New Year's. It's practically a tradition. Like watching the fireworks on TV or playing a board game. I played board game as a kid. I love Yahtzee. Hey, pal! Uh, Detective Gumshoe. Happy New Year, Detective. Uh, likewise. No, oh, this is not. I want it. Here's to another fruitful year of lawyer police cooperation. Uh, 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 all right, pal. Good. Have you got a holiday present for me, Detective? Uh, what now? Uh, uh, here's have this. It's not much, but. Yay, yeah, thanks. Look, we gotta have a talk. Take a seat. On her no. What are you doing this on purpose, pal? <laughs> yes, I must. How do you like the first practical joke? Very funny, pal. Let's see how funny you think this is when I show you this. What is it, a magazine? Hey, I want to see. Deadly poisoning brings guilty verdict. Defense attorney right trounced? Uh, Wait, Trance, when they see that? The 
defense attorney gave an almost childishly amateur performance yesterday. What the heck is this? There's a report, pal, about you! Responsibility for the ruling in this case. Well, don't tell me you don't remember anything about it. I don't remember anything about it. When was that issue from, anyway? Uh, December last year, makes it last month. Which makes it old news. I wasn't involved in the poisoning case. So, what do you think this is about, man? What are you, pal? That leaves only one possibility. No way. You don't mean... A phony. A phony Nick? This must be Gumshoe's idea of a show. Guess he's starting off the year with one, too. So? What are we gonna do, pal? What do you mean, what am I gonna do? Well, it's your fault the judge found the defendant guilty. My fault? How do you figure that? Because the Phoenix Wright is famous now. Well, sort of. Yeah! See what happens when you hot shots take getting take getting too full of yourselves? I didn't do anything. It's not that I remember. You better make this right, pal. And now and that means taking the case back to court. Got it? Seems like we got our first case of the new year, Nick. Let's tackle it with gusto. The judge already issued a guilty verdict in this case. It's not going to be easy to get it overturned. Well, I guess the New Year's Resolution's going to have to wait until next year. So you're taking the case, right? Good! I'm heading to the courthouse then. And after that, I'll go back to the precinct. Drop by if you need something, pal. I guess people are starting to know the name Phoenix Wright. If a client entrusted a case to me based on my reputation, I guess I'm kind of responsible, but why would someone want to impersonate me? What sort of guy would do that? This is so nerve-wracking waiting to meet our new client. I don't know what kind of person you tricked and found guilty. Keep it down, that kind of talk had ruined me. Ah! How could you, Mr. Wright? How could you do this to me? They put me in solitary. I haven't been able to stop crying. Oh, look at the... Oh, she's still got the... She's still got the puppy dog eyes looking towards the camera. Oh, fuck. Wait, are you... Yeah! I am totally and utterly let down! Wait, you're... Don't pretend you don't know me! It's Maggie! You remember Maggie Bird? Maggie Bird... Oh, ow! Oh. Maggie Bird, she was the police woman I attended out one time. So, in the, um... In the anime version of this, they moved this case near the end season, like the beginning of like season three, to not have it be like case two one three three. So they just mixed them together. She was accused of murdering her lover. It was also a cop. What are you doing in here? Didn't I... Oh, sure, very funny. After that fifth-rate defense job, you come in here and start making jokes? Hurry up and tell us what happened, Nick. Mm. Oh, uh, I see. So that's where we stand right now. I'm sorry you've been caught up in another murder. My whole life's been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failure. I really remember her saying the same thing. But I don't mind. What's one more disaster in my life? That's plenty. At least now the real Mr. Wright's here for me. I won't let the world keep me down, sir. So, how come you're dressed like that? Last year, you looked so sharp in your police uniform. <laughs> I was fired at that incident last year. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I don't mind one bit. I enjoyed being on the force, but I think it was time for me to move on anyway. 
So what do you do now? In the second act of the life of Maggie Bird, I play the role of a waitress. A waitress? Yes. There's a French restaurant. It's a small place, but it's quite fashionable. My charming smile and shapely figure came through for me. And the owner, Mr. Armstrong, hired me straight away, sir. You got to his best straight away, right? started on the 3rd of last month, and they happened at Trebien. Trebien? Bien? Yes, it's a restaurant where a good service and friendly smile are always included. No. Oh. There were two men at a table, both drinking coffee. And then... slipped some poison into the victim's cup. The victim took just one sip and was gasping for air. I was so shocked I passed out. Hey, hold on. What? You keep calling this guy the victim. Didn't you know the guy was killed? No! I never met that guy before. Oh. So she wouldn't have had a motive to kill him then. And the other man, the killer, you saw him, right? Of course I did. A good waitress must be attentive to the clientele. So you saw the killer, but you were found guilty in a crime. Anyway, how come? You tell me, Mr. Wright. I guess that answers my question. The phony. Anyway, she saw the killer. Better see if I can get a description of the guy. So if you saw the murderer, why were you still convicted? Because no one else saw. Saw so what? The other guy? The one who put the poison in the victim's coffee? Everyone testified that way. Mr. Armstrong is the customer is everyone. The victim was sitting alone at his table the whole time. But how's that possible? I don't know. But nobody, not one person would believe me, sir. Right, my last hope for a fair trial failed me. Like, what a pathetic defense. My granny could have done a better job. No, that wasn't me, okay? And then I found something incriminating in my apron pocket. A small bottle of poison. What? Poison? How'd he get in there? Oh, I passed out when the victim collapsed. Must have stopped him poison into my pocket when I was unconscious. No one else saw this other guy? No, sir. That's what everyone said, but I don't know. I don't see how they could have missed him. Who's the one who took the coffee to the two men? What was your impression of them? Well, when I saw them, I thought they'd be in the music industry. Music? How oh, come? Well, one of them had this sort of earpiece and an emo musician's look about it. There was a sample CD on the table, sir. An earpiece and a sample CD? Did you get a look at the CD at all? It had a band's name written on it. I think it was MC something. They must have been preparing for their debut, I guess. Promo disc? Okay, was it MC? Get serious, Maya. Would you buy a CD with a group name like that? Now, what was the name of that? MC Hacksaw? What about the killer? What did he look like? Well, I don't really remember. Only that he was young. Well built like the victim, really. Oh yeah, I need to ask you something. Hey, this is this article's about my case. Can you tell me about the guy who was pretending to be me? Yes, sir. It was the morning after I was arrested. I met you in the visitor's room. You were wearing one of your super sharp suits. Yes. Maybe. Was my, uh... Was my evil double I am there, too? No, I don't remember a phone. Man. So cool. You got really worked up and passionate. I'm gonna get you clear to this crime, Alright, I get it. But you've met this... You've met me a person before, so how come you didn't realize this guy wasn't me? I 
guess looking back, it was a little strange. A little? Well, okay, so you're a bit taller, and you looked a bit shaky. And your voice was a bit weird, and you had this kind of funny accent. So this guy was nothing like me. But he had your spiky hair boost. Really? Is that all she takes for someone to imitate me? Nobody even else in the courtroom would be judging. Didn't they realize I was an imposter? Well, they had these big question marks on their faces, but it seemed like no one wanted to say anything. This case just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Mr. Knight, do you think it's possible to get a retrial? Probably. The court ruled in the absence of a genuine defense attorney. So we should be able to get a retrial. Um, Mr. Wright... Do you think we'll win next time? Sir! My life's been a full-course meal of bad luck, complete with defeat for dessert. Since I was six months old, when I fell from the ninth floor... Ouch! I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick on all sorts of foods, failed almost every test I've taken, experienced every kind of disaster. I even landed a phony lawyer when I had the misfortune of being accused for murder. But, but I'll survive, because Maggie Bird always lives to fight another day. And one day I'll fight it, just you wait and see, sir. I'll find that one single moment of good luck. Yeah. ZNF is gonna get really gonna pay for this. What are you staring at me for? And what is ZNF? Maya's right. Whoever it was brought thought it was a good idea to use my name and get an innocent girl convicted of murder. Better watch out. We'll find him. Don't you worry. We'll get ZNF for you. Thank you. Oh, and I'll tell you where Trady Inn is. Oh yeah, right. The, the restaurant. Yes, sir. Where you going? Please tell Mr. Armstrong I said hi. All right, Neck. Ne neck. I guess we'll call him Neck instead of F or Zin M. <laughs> neck. Uh, let's, let's check out that restaurant and its food. Well, yes, it's Maggie Bird. And she's awesome. <laughs> she's been downtrodden and beat up by life. It's not fair. But we'll get her acquitted somehow, but we'll start next time. When I fail a German accent. Well, I failed a German accent. No, I can't say I failed a German accent, but now I gotta fail a French accent. Only, what I will say is unlike actually trying with the German accent for Franziska, Sort of for OD, knowing this is after Final Fantasy VIII. Um, I don't have to try. I can be as goofy or as dumb or as fake as I want to be because the, the French accent for this next guy is going to be fucking sad, ridiculous. Because I don't think he's actually French. But anyway. We'll, we'll see the whatever weird shit comes out of my mouth in the next episode. It'll probably taste like hollandaise sauce laced with shit. Hollandaise is French, right? 